in this video we will try to understand what are anonymous methods now anonymous methods are very much connected to delegates so what we'll do first is first we'll try to understand how a normal delegates looks like okay we have already uh, you know talked about normal delegates in the previous part of the video but we'll just go and revisit normal delegates and then we will see that how actually anonymous method actually improves uh, you know the way delegates works so let's first go and create a simple console application here uh, let me give a name to this console application um, anonymous uh, anonymous methods and delegates right now let's go ahead and create a simple add function here so let me just create a simple add function which actually returns an integer I'm going to say here this is int uh, num1 and I'm going to say int uh, num2 and uh, this add function uh, returns addition of num1 plus num2 so I have a very simple add function here which actually returns uh, addition of uh, two numbers now let's go and declare a delegate which will actually point towards this add function here so we'll say uh, in order to declare a delegate you need need to use the delegate keyword uh, now this add function actually returns an integer and it takes uh, you know two inputs as the integers so we need to create the delegate with the same input types and output types so I'm going to say yes this delegate will return an integer and the name of this delegate is uh, point uh, to add function right and uh, it basically takes uh, two numbers here so int and uh, num2 right oh, sorry for this yeah so control s all right perfect now we also need to create um, a object of this delegate here so that we can point towards the add function so let's say point to add uh, p obj add and this delegate will point to the add function right so i'm going to say add and this and now let's go ahead and invoke the delegate in other words uh, if we invoke the delegate it will internally go and invoke this function so I'm going to say console dot right line uh, uh, pobj dot invoke now that's a function which will help us to invoke this function so I'm going to say say two comma two as the input and I'm going to say two strings so that I can display it on the console and just so that we can see the output I'm going to say console dot read line and control s let me just build this yes everything looks fine here everything nice so now let me just go and run this program so control f5 and that's a very nice output there 4 so that's right we have we have passed 2 and 2 and it displayed 4 now till now everything fine everything nice we were able to create the delegate uh, and this delegate actually pointed to the add function and it also invoked the add function now if you see the problem here is that you know the add function is 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 really a overhead because uh, there is literally only one line of code here and creating a function for it separately is is more of a tedious job or it's more of a overhead so it would be great you know if i can point this delegate directly to this line of code you know rather than uh, creating a new function and and having so much overhead and that's where we have anonymous methods and anonymous delegates so in other words what we can do is we can just get rid of this complete function here and we can have the inline code over here so we can say something like this we can say delegate int num1 and num2 and we can just say here return num1 plus num2 so let me just go and build this and let me do a control f5 here right so you can see that uh, we have uh, the same kind of output here and as we had for a named uh, method so it's the same output in simple words anonymous method means uh, you know method which can which is coded in line you can see the way we have done it so you basically you can have a block of code inside a function and then you can you can point the delegate towards a block of function and basically invoke them so in other words anonymous method helps you to avoid the overhead of creating a method for simple uh, lines of code you know where you want a delegate to be pointed out now the next question is when do we use anonymous methods now if you clearly see the current present situation the current code what you're seeing on the screen there was just one line of code return num1 plus num2 and and we wanted a delegate to point to that line of code and on the top 
we wanted that this line of code or this delegate we are going to use only inside this static void main then you know definitely you know, this becomes a very appropriate choice for using anonymous method now the second kind of scenario you know where you would like to use anonymous methods is for performance sake let's try to understand that how does how does you know anonymous method increase performance so in order to measure performance uh, First, let's measure performance using anonymous methods, and then we will measure performance using the the named uh, method or the named uh, delegate. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to first go and import uh, our favorite system dot diagnostics over here, and what I will do is uh, uh, let me make a big loop here uh, for int i uh, i uh, continue until i is greater than thousand and i plus plus. Okay. So let me make a loop here and uh, let me remove this read line from here and this right. Okay, this int i equal to zero. Right. Perfect. So I'm gonna just do a build over here. It's build all fine. Nice. Now what I'll do is you know, so what we're doing currently is we are invoking this uh, what you call anonymous method using delegate, you know, thousand times over here. Uh, also what I'll do is I'll I'll run this thousand times at least ten times so so that you know I can get a better reading. So I'm going to say so this inner loop will be run ran again ten times to just ensure that we have a proper reading here. So I'm going to say until y greater than ten here and y plus plus right. And for every time I run my y, okay, uh, I'm going to go and measure how much time it takes. So I'm going to go and use our stopwatch function here so i'm going to say okay stopwatch obj watch now the stopwatch is nothing but it's a class which is given by system dot diagnostic namespace where you can go and measure uh, you know how much time uh, it takes a particular function to execute so i said you know i've created the object of stopwatch i'm going to say here obj watch dot reset so that i know before the before this this loop of thousand runs, you know, this watch is resetted, and I'll say obj dot start here, uh, and once he has ran thousand times, I'm going to say obj watch dot stop, and I'm going to display the value in the console uh, how much time it has taken. So I'm going to say obj watch dot uh, uh, elapsed ticks. You know, that's so how much time or how much ticks uh, has been you know how much ticks has been completed to run this uh, inline anonymous method okay so let me do a control f5 here no output something wrong in the logic ops okay this is my mistake i'm going to say i will say this okay and also let me just go and delete this console dot write line i don't want to get okay i'm going to invoke this but i will not display the output so that uh, we can just see the time taken you know rather than seeing the addition of the numbers so I'm going to say here int z equal to this okay so what we're doing is we are running this thousand times and for every thousand times we are recording the reading and every and all and this complete test is is ran ten times okay so I'm going to just do a control s here and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a control f5 all right so let me just go and copy this okay mark let me go and copy this recordings on a notepad. So I'm going to stop this here. Start run notepad. I'm going to say recordings for anonymous anonymous methods. Okay. Control V. Great. Now let's go and uh, do the readings by using our normal delegates. Okay. So I'm going to create again my delegate back here. Static int add. Uh, int num1 I shouldn't have deleted that it's fine but quickly I'll just go and say return num1 plus num2 and let me just del delete this and let me point this delegate now to this normal function here that is add right so right control s let me build this Build and now let me do a control F5. So now what we are doing is now we are taking the readings without the anonymous methods. Okay, so control F5. Okay, 
now let me copy this so edit mark copy this edit copy and let's go to a notepad i'm going to say recordings uh, with named methods or named delegates right control v now clearly you can see that the tick counts you know in the name delegates are quite higher as compared to the anonymous methods so again the situation the second type of situation you know where you would like to use anonymous methods is you know whenever you want performance so the one situation is when you have you know very minimal line of code you know rather than creating a full blown function it would be great to create a anonymous method and the second is if you're looking at performance from the performance aspect uh, then definitely you know uh, the anonymous method definitely has uh, what you call has a upper hand as compared to the name delegates